गुड मॉर्निंग एंड नमस्कार आई एम विजय साहू फाउंडर ऑफ साई इंटरनेशनल मैन कैंड इज गोइंग थ्रू इट्स वर्स्ट कैटेस्ट्रॉफी दिस टाइम इट इज अनप्रेसिडेंटेड और ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर और ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैव बीन मेकिंग कॉन्स्टेंट अपील फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस टू स्टे होम स्टे सेफ एंड स्टे हेल्दी ओडिशा हैज बीन विटनेसिंग नेचर्स फ्यूरी एवरी ईयर हाउवर Orissa has been always taking proactive steps to see that there is minimal impact. This time it is very critical. This time this particular catastrophe is going to change the way of our daily routine, daily life and habits. Let me talk about Sai International and our school to my Sai family. while we are all aware that all schools are closed all children are back home and most of the parents are staying home here we need to understand that school is not just a place where children come and read books school is a place where there is a connect between the teacher and the student there is a connect between student and student and teachers are not only the teachers but also the caregivers they take the care of the children for almost 8 hours when they are in the school now it is for every one of us each one of us of the sai family where i mean the sai family is all our teachers all our parents all my seniors together we should see that what best can be done in a situation like this so that there is minimal impact at sai international we are very conscious of the academic process loss that going to happen we have taken several initiatives and i want to talk on the initiatives taken by sai international and seek the cooperation of our parents and my seniors every time whatever i have requested my seniors they have always always listened to it and let me also very very happily tell you that most of our parents have also always cooperated with sai international in seeing to that we emerge as one of the leading schools of the country all our learning mentors have been advised and have been in touch with each student of each section they must be talking to you to see that you are all safe you are all healthy and you are at home our learning mentors are also acquainting each one of you with the online course material that's being supplemented through our school website to our school erp and our school app here what is very crucial is honesty and integrity honesty i mean Uh, my seniors need to be honest in going through the online materials and honesty in the timetable that's being shared we are sharing a timetable on a daily basis wherein we suggest how much time the children should spend on the online studies how much in the other activities how much of exercise and how to stay safe and stay healthy let me also take this opportunity to tell that this is a time when education can be through the parents parents are able to spend time with the children on a 24 by 7 basis parents should spend quality time with the children and take them through not only the academics but also various other activities back home and keep them engaged my dear seniors you should always follow the daily routine which you have been following that means getting up on time getting yourself ready on time as if you are going to school going to the study table on the time where you used to regularly go to the school and start doing the online materials and keeping yourself disciplined and busy also exercise and spend time on your various hobbies my request to parents is please give them children my children my seniors 
study books and other biographies and books which are of value let the children learn about mahabharat ramayan and the other classics tell them stories tell them about yourself this is the time when parents should tell their children because they are always with them about their own str struggle their own story and how they have come up in life this is the time when maximum value inculcation can happen back at home ask the children to do small small tasks of the house let the children learn bit of cooking bit of cleaning the house bit of cleaning their own bed their own room and get engaged in the household matters let them learn how to spend quality time with parents grandparents and people at home my dear seniors i also sincerely request you that not only you stay safe stay home and stay healthy you also ensure that everyone at your house in a house is safe and healthy there are a lot of stray animals who are starving if possible feed them but without venturing out of your campus if these stray animals come near your gate try to see that they are given some bit of food this is not a situation where we should panic this is a situation where we should stay home and just maintain the instructions the advice advisories of the state government this time to learn and acquaint yourself with some new hobby if you if you have liking to painting do painting if you are liking to writing stories or poems start the habit because you have ample time listen to good music listen to classical music learn some new music or new musical instrument learn dancing see the youtube and take up some hobby do photography can you know t t pick up any good hobby and try to develop in this period of non school or where you are staying home play some indoor games with your parents spend quality time with your parents extremely careful of your food habits don't over it because we are doing the minimal physical exercise while staying at home our food should be minimal while i'm talking of food we should also try to conserve as much possible the resources so what i mean by conserving the maximum possible resources if we are having five items of food every day let's do it with three items let's save those two more items for next two days by this we all together in india 130 crore people in india will start conserving not only food grains but also electricity but also the other resources like water this is the time which is going to be very hard the coming time we do not know what will happen there will be also huge financial stress at every quarter however in india we have always come successful and we have faced disaster and come out of it very very successfully these all phenomena are going to be very very temporary the impact may be 6 to 8 months or at best maximum a year we need to probably recalibrate our school calendar we may have to recalibrate the activities but i'm sure we will be able to do everything possible now coming back to the school as i said our learning mentors are in constant touch with our students with my seniors the learning mentors are again monitored by the ielts and cils and our principals you will be happy that we are having regular meetings and conversation through google hanging out amongst all our teachers all our ielts and cils and seeing to that everything possible is being done to for our children my dear seniors there is nothing to panic 
we are doing everything possible to see that we all come out of this crisis and uh, together we'll see that this catastrophe this disaster doesn't have any impact on any one of us as you know our online school is very active our principals our cils ils and the entire team is working very hard this is probably the time when there is lot of family quality time nature has given this opportunity to each one of us let's spend quality time with our children as i have been always telling every child needs father stone and mother stone here is a time when all fathers will be able to spend quality time with the children make them to listen classicals make them to listen good stories let them understand films like do aankhe bar hath let them listen to the old classical songs and understand the beauty of music this is a time when lot many good things can happen this is an opportunity when lot behavioral change can happen to the students to the children they can learn many beautiful things in life again i am saying there is nothing to panic the entire school curriculum will be recalibrated and we will see that there is no loss to any child on our academic progress we will fight it out together we will do it with ease and we will do it with comfort what we need is cooperation from every senior of mine every parent and every staff member of science nation together we will be very successful i will like to close with thanking the state government our and, and our honorable chief minister for being so proactive and taking so many steps to see that orissa is coming out of this problem with minimal minimal impact and be victorious and be a leading state and lead by example thank you namaskar